So we go. See, it's recording in progress. So we're not going to do the music today so that we have that recording. All right, let's roll the shoulders. And then I'll double check on that um, because I know sometimes it lets you have the music, sometimes it doesn't. So we'll just go without today and then we'll twist. Even though I really like the music, it just makes the energy in the class a little higher, I feel like. But that's okay. So bring your own energy today or play some music in the background. We got it, my friends. Just warming up here a couple of minutes. Uh, right here. Then we're going to take four elbows and a little hip roll. So four, three, two, one, hip roll, hip roll. We're going to do that a couple of times, just getting the body nice and warm. We do this sometimes as one of our exercises, but it's a nice warm up of the body. Hip roll, hip roll. Let's do that three more times and roll and roll two more. Really works the whole body warming it up. And last one, and roll, and roll, and bring it into your march out. All right, four moves, 30 seconds each cardio. So push yourself a little bit, big moves, quick movements. Then we'll grab our weights for a one minute strength move. I'm gonna bring you into that first move, then I'll set the timer. So first move is our cheerleaders, looks like this. Right here, timer is on. You got it, 30 seconds, cheerleaders right here, let's go. Come on, nice work. Oh, I'm so used to playing music, it sounds like so quiet in here. Oh, we got it, come on, come on, right here. Cheer the crowd on, you look great, Stephanie, awesome, Lindy, awesome, Betsy. We're a small but mighty crew today, where's all our regulars? I don't know, we've been doing really well, we've been in like 12, 13 people. Everybody's taking the day off, I guess. All right, turn a little bit to your right knee, pull left leg right here. So it's two to one on our ratios, two minutes of cardio, one minute of strength, four sets of that. That should equal 12, I believe. We got it right here, come on. Twist through, twist through. Woo, I feel my obliques. Three, two, other way, right here. Other way, pull the knee. Twist across, good. You got it. Breathe. So you know it, my friends, right? You can move a little slower, a little smaller, or you can move a little bigger and a little quicker. That's gonna bring that intensity up higher. So it's all about where you are today, how you are feeling. We are coming into cross body punching. Coming up, we're just gonna punch it out in two, and one right here, punch. Yes, you got it, come on. Mm. Boom, 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 right? Now we see it's just more fun to add a little sound effects. Then we'll be grabbing our weights for a one minute strength move. We're gonna row and fly, alternate row and fly. It's gonna slow down a little bit, full minute with our weights. Hang on right here, five seconds, three, Two and one. Reach down, grab those weights. Hinge forward, come to the edge of your chair. Row, elbows narrow. Fly wide. Row and fly. Now you don't really want to look down right at your toes. You're looking slightly forward. That's going to help your neck stay in alignment. We're not really looking up. We're not really looking down. Right, neck in alignment. Looking out a little bit in front of your toes. You got it, squeeze, looks great, Betsy. 30 more seconds. We go back to our cardio, which will be our jacks. So 12 consistent minutes of work, alternating strength and cardio. Squeeze, squeeze. You got it, my friends. So anybody watching this recording, I am Sherry, this is Chair Fit. And we're going back to cardio, my friends. Right here, slide those weights underneath your chair. Let's go, jack it out right here. So we'll take that heart rate back up. Now, always options on your jack, single side. Both hands, both legs, or you know those crazy jacks. You can always take those legs and kick them up into the air. So you've got all those different options. 
We're going into our L punch. Our arms will punch out in that L shape with front kicks. Two and one, punch and kick right there. You got it. Now you do want to try to stay setting kind of towards the edge of your chair and setting up nice and tall. I know it's a little harder on a cushy couch, isn't it, Betsy? <laughs> just like, oh, I just want to lay back and take a little nap here. <laughs> yes. So glad you're getting to see Rochelle though and the kids. Super awesome. All right, my friends, we're going to take knee to opposite elbow. Looks like this. Crunch across and pull and pull. And pull, and pull right here. You got it. So we get two kind of front moves coming up here. Elbow to opposite knee. And then what I call the hacky sack, hand to inner ankle is next. So two moves here to the front of our body. Three seconds. Here we go, right here. Tap, tap, tap. Right, so now we're getting a little bit into that inner thigh. Now, it's really easy to want to kind of hunch down, right? Stay nice and tall. Who do you have doing it with you, Betsy? She's got one of the kids. Is it Kinley? Oh, you got it right here. Looks great, Lindy. 10 seconds. We're going back to those weights for some triceps. You have the option tricep overhead or kick back. Two and one. Here we go. Reach down. So if you're good with bringing the weights up overhead, we'll squeeze the elbows in and tricep overhead. If that bothers your shoulder, your back, right? You can always hinge forward and take that little tricep kick behind you. So those are your two options right there. Ooh. I don't feel like I've done much upper body strength this week because I haven't done any weights, but I've done some work with just body weight arms my arms are so sore, <laughs> feeling my triceps here. So don't think you always have to hold weights because I did some work a little bit earlier this week. No weights, just arms. And I am feeling that like crazy. Oh. All right, we got it, my friends. We're going back to that cardio. It's our little Heisman, our three, two, one, three, two, one. Here we go in three, two, and one, bring those weights down. Three, two, under, quick, quick, under, quick, quick, under, quick, quick, under. I feel like a little spider, <laughs> the little spider legs here, scurrying across the floor. You got it, three, two, under, three, two, under, right, right there, it's our little Heisman. Then we're gonna bring those feet in close together for some quick feet coming up in three, two, and one right here, right here. Quick arms, quick feet. Shake and bake it out, 30 seconds. We're gonna get a punching move with some uppercuts. So then we'll bring our legs out a little bit wide and uppercut with our fist. Boom, right here, quick, 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 quick. Super fast feet. They are click, 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 clicking out. Are you ready for those uppercuts? Here we go. Punch up, 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 up. Yes. Getting that bicep in there. Hi, Kinley. Let me see those punches, girlfriend. You look great. Ha ha ha. She's getting so big. You got it, Stephanie. Come on, come on. Punch it up, punch it up. You are using that whole upper body, right? It's not just your arms. You're getting a twist through your waist. And then we're going to go into some side kick. We're going to alternate left side kick, left and right. Here we go. Kick, kick, kick. So you got to kind of hinge on your chair a little bit and kick out with that heel. Kick, kick, kick. You got it right there. Boom, boom. Yes. We're going back to our strength. Some bicep work coming up. I'm gonna do the half curl, open, extend. Here we go. Find your weights, elbows into your ribs. Curl halfway, open, extend, bring in right here, yes. Now, if that extension aggravates the shoulder, just don't take the extension. You can always open, close, release because the extension does kind of pull that shoulder a bit. 
All right, we got one more set coming up after this, then you will get kind of your break. We'll do it all again. 25 more seconds right here. Squeeze, open and reach. Yes. So Rochelle is setting length and strength for me. Reminder, Betsy, in case you forgot. <laughs> I'm setting ABCs for her tomorrow. She's doing length and strength today for me. So I will see you all back tomorrow. Well, tonight, yeah, and tonight. All right, my friends, drop it down. Turn a little bit to the right. We have that rocking horse. That's where we kick opposite legs, right? And my arms can be in on the action. Now I can kick or I can just rock. So you can always keep my knees bent if that feels better to me, or I take my kick. 30 seconds each side. So four more cardio moves, one more strength. That'll take us to halfway. You got it right here. Switch sides. Opposite leg, kick front, kick back. Good. We got it right here. Come on, come on. And then we're gonna do our kick up our heels and run. We're gonna do that little bum kicker, heel run. Here we go, right here, right here. I went out of order, that's okay. We'll get both moves. I like down at my notes, I missed a move. We got it, come on. Kick up your heels, kick up your heels. And then we're gonna go into the march and pump or like the, the knee pump, knee punch. Get my words right here to each side. You can single it, you can double it, you can triple it in three, two, and one. So it looks like this if you're singling it. So it's pretty quick changing. You could go two and two. You could do three and three, four and four. Great, whatever feels good to you. Side to side. And one more strength move coming up. The side delt rotation overhead press in three, two, and one. Right here. Palms face each other forward. We open up side delt, we rotate, push up, come down and bring it in. So it's like a variation of an Arnold press. Down and in. Try to sit nice and tall on the edge of the chair. Great body is a little bit fatigued at this point. We are on that 12th minute. You will get that little break and we'll do it all again. Down and in. Right here, 25 seconds to go. Now you can always single sided as well. The arms start to get tired. You can single side so that each arm gets a little bit of a break. Right? Or you can grit your teeth a little bit, not really, but push through it. We got it. It's just eight seconds to go. Woo! Four, three, two, and one, nicely done, my friends. Drop those weights underneath your chair, grab some water. We're doing all of it again. So we'll be starting back at the top, repeating all our moves one more time. Whew. Shake it out just a little bit. You got about 10 more seconds. I only give you a 30 second break. I'm kind of mean. All right, we start with our cheerleaders in five, four, Three, two, timer is on right here, cheerleaders. I know, right? That wasn't very much of a break. She's mean, she's tough. We got this. Cheerlead it out. Come on. Knee pulls her next. Your body knows the moves this time, right? You know how the first half felt. Do you stay the same? Do you move a little bigger, quicker? Do you back it off a little bit? Challenging yourself, but being smart. Let's go, knee pulls. Great, so I always, always want you to challenge yourself, but we have to learn. We have to learn to challenge and still be smart, right? So if we start to feel any types of sharp pain, we wanna to try to change something up. Muscle pain's good, burn is good. 
sharp pain in any of the joints. We want to try something different. You start to get a little overwinded, seeing stars getting a little dizzy, right? You want to back off. Let's switch sides right here. Otherwise, my friends, right? You can push a little bit. It is okay to push. Yes. We got it. We got the cross punches coming up. We'll set facing forward and punch across the body in 10. Come on. You should feel a little winded, right? Your core body temperature should be a little high. Here we go. Punch it out. But we learn to embrace kind of that slight discomfort. And we learn to kind of look forward to it because it means we're getting stronger, we're getting healthier. And that's what it's about, right? And we can learn to enjoy that the same as we can learn to enjoy other things. All right, here comes our back row and fly. Reach down, grab those weights. We row narrow and we fly it out to the side. Squeeze in and to the side. You got it right here. Range of motion. So I love, I love to be a little bit sore, right? Like not all the time and not overly sore. But that is a sensation that I look forward to because I know that, that means I'm getting stronger. So I love that. But we got to, you know, we had to learn. We don't want to be over sore. We don't want to be to the point where like, oh my gosh, one time I did, I think I told you before I did a CrossFit, couldn't like even pick up the toothbrush. That's too much. That's too much. And I let my ego, you know, make me go through way competitively when I knew I was pushing too hard. So we have to be smart. Here we go. Five seconds. Jacks are coming up. Two and one. Wait, slide down. Jacks. Single. Single right there. Let me see if I can do the single, double, or crazy, right? So if you're like, I want to kind of push that heart rate a little bit higher, I want to challenge myself a little bit more. You can always try these crazies, and we could do single leg too if you feel a little unbalanced, right? Single leg crazy, but taking those legs up in the air adds a little bit of challenge. All right, you got it right here. We're going front kick, L punch. Let's go right here. So I'm moving you through the second half. You know what's coming. We go right into it. We got that elbow to our opposite knee that's coming halfway here. So your mind can kind of start preparing where it's going. You got it. Nice. And here we go, knee to opposite elbow, twist, pull. Pull, pull, pull. You got it. Come on. Get that twist in that pull. So we got two of these moves, kind of front body focused, with a little bit of twisting. And we'll reach for the ankles. Hack the sack move in 10. Come on. We got this, my friends. Two and one right here. So we're trying to kind of pick those feet up quickly, right? Really working, works right into that hip. Now, if my shoulders are really, you know, yelling at me at this point, my shoulders are starting to get a little intense. Right? I always bring my arms down, give the shoulders a little bit of a break. And I'm still getting all that awesome cardio. Then we have, we've done it all, we've done it all. We've got our triceps coming up, either kickbacks, or overheads right here, right here. Did we do them all? I feel like I forgot something. Who knows? We're just gonna keep moving. So here's the kickbacks. If I want kickbacks, here's overheads. So I can do the same thing again, or I can do the opposite, right? Find the one that maybe feels a little bit challenging, but doesn't like hurt anything. You got it. Yeah, I love that option, Stephanie. You look great, Lindy, Betsy. Come on, 30 more seconds right here. Did we do our L arms and our front kicks? Did we do that? Is that what I skipped? No, I think I did it, right? I just, I feel like I skipped something. That's okay. If we get to the end and we have too much time, I'll just put something in. No worries. 
Squeeze out, squeeze out. Five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Here we go. Heisman. Under, quick, quick, under, quick, quick, under. So I did that the other day. I, I teach a local reformer class now that things are like opening back up. And I always take my little notebook, my little lesson plan notebook. And the whole time I was walking out of the building, it's like, I know I'm forgetting something, but I couldn't like figure out what it was. I get all the way to my car and I'm like, oh, I left my notebook in there. <laughs> all the way back in. Here we go. Quick feet, quick feet, quick feet right here. Shake and bake. Arms as well. So I had that same feeling, but my timer's right. So, so we must be right because my timer's like doing the right thing. We've got it. Then we'll go into the side kick. We're going to kind of lean side to side and then we'll do some uppercuts. I think I'm going in reverse order, but it's all good. We're doing them all. Here we go. Kick, kick. Because the first half I kind of went in the wrong order. That's okay. Challenges our brain a little bit. <laughs> the brain's going, wait, this isn't the order we did it in the first time. Or if you're like me, I have no clue. If I'm not teaching, I don't know. Teacher could do anything. I'm like, just whatever. <laughs> what I show up for. So uppercuts are next. Here we go. Take those feet wide. Let's go. Punch it up, punch it up, punch it up. We're getting close to that fourth quarter of class. Come on, stay strong. And then we have our biceps, our bicep curls, open extension. You got this. Punch it up, punch like you mean it. Three, two, and one. Let's go grab those biceps. Here we go, half curl, open, extend, bring it in. And then we can always drop that extension out. If your weights are a little bit heavy, sometimes I grab weights that are a little too heavy for the extension. Today I'm doing okay. Great, just use that judge, that judgment. And squeeze, you got it. 30 more seconds right here. Try to sit nice and tall. So I know for myself, right, I start getting tired. <laughs> I start kind of slouching down. Stay tall. We got this. We're near the end. We got a three minute round left to go. And then we'll probably have time for just a little bit of balance work and then some stretching. So rocking horse is coming up in five, three, two, and one. Turn to your right, kick and kick. Kick and kick. If you're not kicking today, right, you can totally rocking horse it right here without the kick. We got that little intensity of the kick. It's into the back hamstring a bit more. So a little bit earlier in class, right, we have the knees coming forward, the ankles coming forward. Now we are getting a forward and a backwards. Here we go, switch sides right here. Front and back, front and back. Then we have that knee punching side to side and our kick up our heels and run. That's what we have left. And then our strength. You got it, 10 seconds. But knee punch side to side, one time, two times, three times, your choice in four, three, two, and one. Right here, if you're singling it out, right, it's quick. Two opponents, one on each side. And you got to take them both down, or you could double it up, or triple it up. Your choice. I like singles. Seated. If I'm standing, I like to do a couple of extras. Five seconds. Here we go. Kick it up and run right here. Come on. Imagine, right? That finish line is in front of you. And it's like, you're tired. You've been doing a marathon. You've got semen on your feet, but you're like, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. And you lean forward a little bit and you kick those heels up behind you and you reach for it. And you got eight seconds. 
Ah, and then we gotta finish up with our shoulder work. Three, two, and one. Oh, grab the weights. So palms face each other, fists forward. Open, rotate, push, come down, and in. Right here, my friends. So a little bit of balance at the end of this, and then stretching. We're so close. And in. We got to hang on 30 seconds. Remember, you can always single side it. You can always drop the weights. I know my arms are a little bit fatigued here at the end. So the other thing I sometimes do is I take a little two second break when I come in and then I go again. Right, so I keep moving, but I get just that little moment of pause at the bottom. Eight seconds to go right here. Two and one. All right, my friends, nicely done. If you would like to come up and out of your seat, you can. If you would like to stay seated, we're going back to just single leg kick here, nice and slow, or we're coming up to get that little bit of balance work, right? So leg comes front, leg comes behind. It's not about speed. Now, if you're sitting and you're like, I wanna take some speed and I wanna keep my heart rate up, you can. If you're standing though, right? It's not necessarily about speed. It's about playing with that balance, right? So I try to bring a little bit of balance work in here, you know, every week or two. You got it, 20 more seconds this side. We'll get the other side. We do have our chair there that we can tap down anytime. It's about taking this balance. You got five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Switch legs, you can switch to the other side of your chair, whatever you need. Forward and back, forward and back. And I'll tell you, the slower you go, the more balance your the more your balance will be challenged, right? Because if I get slow faster, I start to get a little bit more momentum on that, and I can go for like several, but then I kind of lose it. I really lose it, right? So if we slow down, that balance actually gets challenged a little bit more, and you really start to feel the standing leg supporting you. All right, 15 seconds right here. We get to stretch. So we have a little bit less stretch time today because we put this balance work in. We will get about 90 seconds to stretch. You can stand, you can sit. Three, two, one. So if you'd like to stay standing, you can take your heel to your glute here. Or remember, we can always take that long step back lunge, raising the leg of the arm that's in back. If you're seated, same thing, you just turn and use your chair. So I'm sitting now, I'm gonna stay here. Nice, then we'll switch that out. So either lunging the other way or pulling the opposite heel to glute in. So I could do heel to glute here too. So you can do either way, whichever one feels best to you. So very basics on our stretches today, just kind of letting those legs release a little bit. Then we'll take heel down, flex the toes back again. You can stay standing, you can stay seated. Head stays a little bit above the heart. Lean forward with the chest. Get that stretch down the back of your leg. And switch it out, other leg. So if you do need some more stretch today, the last 10 minutes of length and strength with Rochelle, today we'll be stretching or come join me tonight for yin or there's always the on demands you can catch. All right, one last quick little stretch here to release that upper body from our strength work that we did. Hang interlace your hands. Oh, pull back through your hands, lift and open your heart. Oh, take a couple of nice deep breaths. Maybe ears, shoulders, side to side. A little release of the neck. Oh, and we are done. You did it. You were fabulous. Let me stop our recording.